Good morning, children. So yesterday we have seen that the properties of multiplication. Now let us learn multiplication of a number by ten, hundred, thousand, and so on. So it is very easy to multiply any number by ten, hundred, and thousand. For example, when first we will see multiplication by by ten. See, ten has one zero. Okay, so first we will multiply a number by one, and we will put one zero. For example, see that. Thirty-six multiplied by ten. Okay. So multiply. See, it has one zero. So we will write zero first. Two thirds. Answer two thirds. Yesterday we have seen this property. If any number is multiplied by one, we get the same number. Okay. And if two thirty-six multiplied by What to do? Twenty has one zero. Okay, so we will write one zero first in the unit place. Okay, okay. How it is twenty? Here we divide this twenty into ten into ten. Okay, so see the this example. So we will put the zero first. Okay, now what is left? Two. We will multiply this in the back two. Okay. Six plus six plus seven and six plus four. Okay. Same thing. Okay. So what to do? Again, thirty is divided into three into ten. So write down one zero of ten and multiply the whole number by. Three. Okay, so in this way, you will be able to multiply two six six multiplied by ninety. So write down four zero and multiply this by nine. Got it, children? So let's see the another multiplication by. So it is also same as the multiplication by ten. Ten has one zero, so we write one zero. Here hundred has two zeros. For example, one twenty three multiplied by hundred. Okay. So write down this two zero first, or you can say split this one twenty three minus one twenty three. Now write down this. Here, one twenty multiplied by two hundred. Again, how will you split this two hundred? Two multiplied by hundred. Okay, so multiply this one twenty by two, and these two zeros. So three two zero six. And this two zeros. Got it, children? So, so we just say one two three multiplied by three also. Again, we will split this three hundred as three multiplied by hundred. So. We will write this two zeros. 
Three three is a nine. Three two is a six. Three one is a at same way you can do up to nine hundred. Put two zeros and multiply this by nine. Got it, Peter? So let's see another. Multiplication by one thousand. So it is same as multiplication by ten hundred. Okay. Ten has one zero, so we will write zero one zero. Hundred has two zero, so we will write two zero. See, I'm here. One thousand has three zeros. For example, see. Two, one, three. Okay, split it. One, so two hundred thirty minus two hundred thirty, and it is three zeros. So split this two thousand as two multiplied by one thousand. So multiply this number by two and then write three zeros. Two three is a six. Two one is a four. Four two is a four. And this three zeros. Got it, Peter? So in this way, we can multiply up to nine thousand. Okay, write down three zeros and multiply the number by nine. Clear, Peter? So let's see the next. So let us solve some exercises. Multiply one seventy eight multiplied by forty. Yes, what to do? Here we will split this forty as four multiplied by ten. Okay, so multiply one seventy eight by four and ten. And this. Zero. What is it? See the next. Next question is. Three six nine multiplied by seven. Again, we will do. We will multiply this number by seven, and then we will put one zero. Three six nine multiplied by seven. So multiply seven times that sixty three three seven six that 
So in this way, she had read one, six, five, eight, three, this, six. Okay. So I'm giving you some homework on this better. So you have to write this. The questions. Find the product using distributive property. So yesterday we have seen we can multiply a large number by breaking the number okay we will break the number for example see if there is 157 the public to break this number 100 plus 50 plus 7 okay so as so multiply by 20 so So you have to multiply each number in this bracket by 20. It is not distributed. Means you have to distribute this 20 with each of the number in the bracket. It is not distributive property. You see. Distributive property. What to do better? So we will break here 58 multiplied by in the bracket. Okay, if no multiplication is there, it is underscore. There is the multiplication sign between the number and the bracket. Okay, so how will you distribute? So here you have to distribute this 107 with 58. This first we will multiply this 58 and 100. Write on the plus as it is. Then multiply 58 and 7. Okay, now multiply 58 and 100. So 58 into 100, we just learn 58 comes up 58 and these two zeros. 58 into 7. 7. Okay. Four zeros. Yes. Add this zero plus six. Six to zero seven. What in better? Okay, so here if 107, if instead of this there is 98, so how will you write 98? 100 minus 2. See, instead of this plus, here we will write 2 minus. So it is what better? Distributive property of multiplication over addition. Distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. Okay. Let's see another question. Yes. 83. Multiplied by. 
Okay. So you can write ninety six as. Hundred minus four. Okay. Yes. Now distribute this eighty three with this hundred and four. So first we will multiply this eighty three into hundred. Write the minus sign as it is. Then distribute this eighty three with this four. Okay, eighty three ones are eighty three, and this two zeros minus okay. Now subtract this three thirty two from eighty three. Seven nine six eight. Got it, children. So let's try one more example. Here we are taking a large nine nine. One seventy two. So we should put three zeros. One seventy two. Here we split this one seventy two into small numbers. So how many? We will write this forty two as it is. Eight two up. So instead of one seventy two, we will write hundred. Plus seven, seventeen plus two. Okay, hundred plus seventy plus two is one seventy. And we will multiply them. Here we will distribute this forty two with first hundred. So forty two multiplied by hundred. Write down this plus sign as it is. Then distribute this with seventy. Forty two multiplied by seven. I have this plus sign as it is. Forty two multiplied by two. Forty two. Yes. Forty two one one forty two, and this two zeros. Okay. And this one zero. Yes. Now add all this. So you can arrange vertically, but you are now in seven center. So horizontally you will be able to this. So it is seven thousand two hundred. Got it, children? Okay. So in this way, you can use distributive property and will solve the multiplication by large numbers. Okay. So, Baba, beta, we will stop over here.